Um, my name is James Blair, and uh, I'm here to talk a bit about Zool. Zool is a project gating system that we originally developed for the OpenStack project, but it's grown quite a bit since those early days. Uh, a project gating system is like a CI or a CD system, uh, except that it's focused on making sure that every change merges, uh, every change that merges to a repository is fully tested. So uh, it's great for developing large projects like OpenStack, where there are multiple components with relationships and dependencies on each other. Uh, it's great for, uh, for doing continuous deployment and GitOps and, and things like that. Uh, we've been working on Zool for, for quite a time, uh, quite a while, and uh, I'd like to talk about what we're doing in uh, preparing for our latest versions, Zool version 4 and version 5. Um, we're working on 4 right now. 5 is going to be a big milestone for us. Uh, that's going to be the version where we have uh, removed any uh, single point of failure in the system. So it's going to scale up in, uh, in, in ways that, uh, that I think are really unique to a CI and CD system. Um, we want Zool to be able to scale up and scale down. So uh, whether you're using this enterprise-wide across multiple organizations, uh, or if you're using it in a small work group, uh, we want Zool to work in, in both use cases. Uh, as part of our work towards uh, this large scalable system, we've been adding more and more drivers to Zool. So it works with a number of code review systems. Uh, we have people using it in uh, with GitHub, GitLab, Garrett, and Pegure. And, uh, it also works with a number of cloud systems. Uh, it can use nodes from OpenStack, AWS, Azure, OpenShift, Kubernetes, uh, and Google Compute Engine. And uh, we're adding more to those all the time. Um, one of the great things about having a purely open source uh, CI CD system is that we're not very opinionated about the rest of your tooling. We we aim to work with, uh, with uh, any of these systems. And that really gets to how Zool helps with the hybrid cloud scenario. Um, it's because it's not built into any into the code review system and it's not part of any particular cloud, it can work with any of those things. So if you uh, if you run uh, part of your development operation internally and part of it in the cloud, uh, Zool can work with both of those uh, situations at the same time, helping to bridge that hybrid cloud divide. Um, and the same thing is true for code review systems. Uh, if you have uh, part of your organization working on uh, in GitHub and part of the organization working in GitLab, Zool can bridge the gap there as well. Um, so that's uh, really some of the exciting stuff that we're working on uh, in Zool development right now. Um, if you'd like to get involved, uh, here's a little open snack for you. Um, just go to uh, zool-ci.org, and we've got links on our homepage for how to uh, join our mailing lists, how to uh, join us in chat uh, using Matrix, and uh, how to get started making a, a contribution. Um, uh, we also have uh, guides to get starting very uh, get Zool up and running quickly. So you can uh, get a small Zool instance running just with Docker Compose. Uh, so just a single command uh, should get the system up and running for you. And uh, we hope to see you online.